Hello, I'm Dr. Keon West from the Institute of Psychological Sciences at the University of Leeds, and I'm here to talk to you about the importance of statistics. It's very rare that statistics happens to be anyone's favorite part of studying psychology, or any other science for that matter. Statistics can be complicated, they can be confusing, they can be difficult, and often they're just not that interesting, at least not for many of our students. But statistics are still very important, and I'm going to try and explain to you why they're very important and why they're in fact essential to conducting this kind of scientific investigation. Suppose you had a question, any kind of question would do. Let's say that you wanted to know whether or not men were taller than women. How would you go about figuring that out? Now, the immediate thing would be to say, well, I could go out and measure the height of a man and then measure the height of a woman and see if the man is taller than the woman. And if that works, then you could say that men are taller than women, right? Well, no, wrong. Because there's many reasons why that's a very bad way of handling it. You could measure a particularly tall man and a particularly short woman. So you could, in this instance, find that one man is taller than one woman. But if you had measured two other randomly selected people, it's possible that you would have found that the woman was taller than the man. And then you'd have a different result. OK, then you'd say, what do we do in this case? Maybe we should measure multiple people. You could go around measuring groups of men and groups of women, and then you could compare them. But how would you do that? Would you tick a box every time a man was taller than a woman and tick another every time a woman was taller than a man? And then I guarantee you, even if you went through a very rigorous system of measuring people, if you gather any two groups of people together, even randomly selected, you will find that their heights are different because human beings vary in height. And so what you need to know is, is this difference in height a real difference or just an illusory random difference that happens to crop up? Let's say you had another question. Do students who study more do better at exams? We're not assuming any direction. We're just looking. Do students who study more do better at exams? How would you check that? You could find one student, and you could say, well, this student, she studies very hard, but she doesn't do particularly well. And maybe you find another random student, and he studies very little, but he does very well at his exams. Should you then conclude that, well, clearly studying actually doesn't do much for your exams or doesn't make much of a difference? Well, of course you can't, because if you had selected two other students quite at random, then you might have found that actually this student studies very little and does very poorly, and the other student, why well, she studies a lot and does very well. But even then, we're not sure. We can't tell if this is random or if it's fluctuating or if it's a real thing that actually is emerging from the data.